Hi everyone. Uh, so this is GTDC Bengaluru, and uh, we at RVM CAD are now training partners of GTDC. So we will show you the robotics lab, and uh, this Hi. is Mr. Sanjay. Uh, he is our robotics trainer. And he will be telling us the different kinds of robots. So, hi, sir. Hi. Uh, so, what are the different kinds of train uh, like robots here? Like, I can see this is much yeah. bigger in size. This is the like we have a Fanuc robot in yeah, Delhi, yeah. 165F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think this is on the same. Uh, like, these are all actually Kuka robots. Kuka robots, okay. yeah. Instead of Fanuc. So, uh, yeah. Instead of Fanuc, you are using uh, Kuka robots. Okay. And uh, you can now just. Uh, Go through the robot sizes over here. Okay. It is all about the payloads. Payloads. Uh, different uh, kinds of payloads. Almost uh, for every robot, it is a six axis robot as of now. Yeah, basically yeah. six different joints we yeah, have which can yeah. all move. Kinematic motion. Yeah, kinematic move, motion. No? Accordingly. So, yeah. the working principle of the robot movementation mm -hmm. is over is uh, that servo motor. Okay. Uh, the capacity of the servo motor, it will convert electrical into mechanical energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay so this is the feeding that thread of the yeah, MIG welding. Yeah, MIG welding. This is a feeding material with yeah. the help of this organ gas, the combination, the metallic inert gas. So the, all the MS metal uh, welding will be done over here yeah. in this robot. Okay. okay. So how do you like program how much to feed versus the movement of the arm? Do you teach uh, all of that? Uh, actually, the feeding will be done automatically. Uh, accordingly. Okay. Uh, Depend upon the velocity, speed of the velocity okay. of this robot. So this is auto synced on its own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It only we only just give the path, pathway, and, uh, then and the speed of the velocity. So which speed it has to be welded. Okay. So that only we will teach it. Okay. So the rest of the thing automatically it will run. So uh, this is a butt welding. Thing. Okay. From yeah. here, see. Yeah, sir. Uh, first we have to take the robot from here to here. Uh, yeah. That we call jogging. Jogging. Uh, jogging process. Uh, early, uh, initially we will teach them to operate the basic robot. Okay. So, to, what all the axis it will roll, total six axes are there. Yeah. So, which button has to be pressed with, uh, which axis it will move. And it so, will you have a teach pendant? Yeah, yeah, over On there. that teach yeah. pendant, you will. Uh, as you can see, the smart pad over there. Okay. So, you have to basically hold it yeah. and then do uh, the programming yeah. in programming. this. Okay. So, these are all the operation uh, keys, which direction it has to be moved. Okay. Uh, axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll see a demo also. Yeah, so that I'll show later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, CPU of uh, this robotics. Okay. So, here the it will control from here. So, that organ gas uh, is connected to this. Uh, attachment. Okay. This is a separate attachment that we have made. Okay. So this will be synced with uh, that robot. Uh, this all thing is about this attachment over there. Yeah. You have mentioned. Okay. So this robot is controlled by this unit. Uh, the and the MIG welding whole setup yeah. is separate. Yeah. This one. Red color one. This one will operate with. Uh, it will control automatically that how, how much flow the organ gas has to be done okay. and these things have to be controlled with this. Okay. Right. Uh, friction welding, like uh, yeah. uh, spot welding, right? Okay. The spot welding process is all about uh, doing in high speed friction, so automatically it will do the welding. All like right. usually we will see these kinds of welding in the, the buses, like they will do the floor or heavy welding. commercial uh, yeah, vehicles. Yeah, yeah. You know, two plates will be joined with the help okay. of friction. Whichever the point uh, I want to fix, I have to uh, take that robot here. And we have to jog and here we have to do the uh, welding, weld operation on and uh, that automatically it will do. First we will assign 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. So similarly okay. it will do the welding accordingly. Okay. So what about the other robots that we have? Yeah. No additional materials will be added in this. Only the pure uh, gas welding it has done. So we have two, two organ gas cylinders over there. Okay. So high pre automatically it will maintain the pressure. Same as we have the additional attachment over there. This will maintain yeah, yeah, the yeah. synchronization. These are all the uh, Fronius uh, things. Uh, so Fronius is supplied this attachment all right. to come as the things, this one, KUKA. KUKA is a robot and attachment is the provided yes. Fronius. Okay. So these are all the different workstation. Like this one is T and this one is circular. This one is a uh, square and this one is butt joint. Okay. So pure gas welding this one is. Okay, tungsten yeah. inert gas. Yeah. Same material what you use a uh, total pure gas welding here. The attachment is this this one so it will do electrode based uh, welding yeah. with the help of organ gas yeah. so same this is also attachment with fronius only okay all the robots are six axis six axis yeah. okay why they provided four means uh, some persons will be left hand or right hand person all right all right so i the know this, these are for the brakes yeah unable for the brakes right yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So usually we call it unable button because without pressing that uh, things will not there are total T1 mode, T2 mode, automatic mode and auxiliary mode. As I can operate X direction, X, X minus direction okay, so and it is a positive and negative direction. Yeah. Same meanwhile, this is oh. a Y direction. It is going uh, here and here. Plus yeah. somewhere. Okay. And this is a Z direction, up and down. So whatever joints are 
bikes need to be moved to go X and Y. So it will sit on its own. So there are two uh, systems over there. One is uh, this one is access based. In access based, what I exactly happens is total six axes are there. Yeah. We will move one by one. We will show which axes are there. See, first axis means the bottom. Bottom plate will move. Mm -hmm. The second one is this. That second one. Okay. Only that will move. Okay. The rest everything yeah. locked. Yeah. Yeah. Third one is that one. Oh. And fourth axis is in that direction. Yeah. Already you can see over there. Fifth, Plus yeah, four, four minus and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and this one is fifth. fifth. This one fifth is last. Will be last rotation. Yeah. Yeah. It will be directly attached to that attachment what we are making. Okay. So, so this is how it works. So the, if we have to like teach a student robotics, yeah. how much time will it take approximately to? So to know the robotics operation, hardly yeah. it will take one, two to three days is hardly basic enough. operation, basic not programming, programming and all. Yeah. So programming, what we will do is we will do, we will teach them virtual programming. We have on our own software backup over there. It is okay. 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 In that we will virtually teach them as yeah. we have already wrote the programs over there. Right. Yeah. 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 That is point to point and linear and uh, auxiliary. Auxiliary okay. is nothing but circular thing. Okay. So, to so become the, a professional, it should take at least 15 20 yeah, days. Yeah, 15 of days is a standard, you know, sir. 15 standard, 20 standard 20 days, durations yeah. are there. Like, what are the career options? Like, as we know, all the industries are moving yeah. to latest technologies. Nowadays, uh, this is a fourth generation. So, yeah. every, in every industry, they are using robots. robots. Yeah. So, if you know the yeah. programming and operating, yeah. uh, so it will always uh, very much add on experience to them. Yeah. yeah. And again, uh, yeah. if you learn, these are all automation things. Mm. Uh, after uh, going, before going to coming to this, if mm. you have a basic you know, knowledge of PLC, mm. the program, that will be very good combination. Very good combination. As you can see, yeah, uh, these are all the PLC, PLC connections. Is different PLCs. One, two, three, and four. Uh, we already only four we have made auto program. Yeah. So if you want to take fermentation combination for program one, program two, as you can see over here, these are all plenty of uh, programs. It is block pick and place. A circular, pad pick and place, huh? pad test, pen 1, pen 2, pen 3. So these are all the programs we have defaultly added over here. Okay. So if you want more program to be done, so we need uh, to have a knowledge of PLC to this. Yes. So we will run, like see a yeah. sample of the program in which it will run on its automatic yeah. uh, way. So you can see now. So why is it showing this kind of noise? emergency alarm, I think. Huh. Maybe oh. not locked. So it's one. a safety. So this is a sensor safety. Yeah. Important, no? That's yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. It's picking up. The basic uh, result of the robot is it has to perform an automatic program only. Okay. So there is a cube. It will place yeah, it directly it will, yeah. on that. Okay. Wow. Just yeah, perfectly aligned. Yeah. yeah. So it's running from this code which is already loaded into. Yeah. This. It is already. We have already mentioned the code. No. Okay. Here it will say wait. After keeping that, we have to wait for five seconds. And then, then uh, again, it will take there and it will dump back again in that position. Okay. So this is one pick and place operation, and the second program is pad pick and place. I will show you. So after completion of the touch, it will come to this home position. Then where to add point to point, where to add linear, where to add auxiliary, yeah, yeah, yeah. where to. Uh, take the hold operation start and where to end it the program and these are all the things we will teach them. Yeah. So this is the basically okay. the language is Kuka mm. robotic language. Okay. So it's an add-on additional to uh, supporting to PLC. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.